Want to create sequential numbers automatically in ArcGIS like in this video? Watch this video until the end. Prepare the data layer that will be sequentially numbered. If you already have a shapefile or geodatabase, you can open it directly. In this example, I will create a new polygon and divide it into several parts. I cut the polygon using the Cut Polygon feature in ArcMap. Click on the Editor toolbar and select Start Editing. Next, select the Cut Polygon tool from the Editor toolbar. This tool is represented by a small pair of scissors. Click on the polygon where you want to cut it. Next, click on the polygon again to complete the cut. Next, you can repeat previous steps to make additional cuts. When you're finished cutting, click on the Editor toolbar and select Save Edits to save the changes made to the layer. this polygon into many parts so that I can create many numbers as well. The next step is to create an attribute table that will be automatically filled with sequential numbers. First, open a tribute table. If the layer or table does not have a numeric field, add a new field with the data type long integer or double. We will be using a script written in the Python programming language. The script code looks like this. You can download the script that I will attach in the description. To fill in the code, follow these steps. In field calculator, select Python as the parser and check the box next to show code block. Paste the following code into the pre-logic script code block. In the lower text box, enter the following code, auto increment. The code P start equals 1 indicates the first number to be calculated. I have filled it with the number 1, so the sequential number will start from 1. The code P interval equals 1 is the interval for the next number. I have filled it with the number 1, so the next interval will increase by 1. Once done, click the OK button. You will see that the serial number has been filled in automatically. I will provide an example if start and interval codes are changed. You can see the results from several examples below. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, it will be a helpful video for all GIS lovers. Thank you and see you in the next video.